Hello, hello, Rhonda Poner here from Edison Middle School, Houston ISD. Today, I'm gonna to talk about Immersive Reader. Trust me, this will be your best friend. Immersive Reader is for somebody who maybe has uh, dyslexia or they're learning English as a second language or they just need basic language support. Immersive Reader is your guide. So let's get started. All right, I have some words up here that students will see an announcement. Most of the time, you'll see this icon. This is the Immersive Reader. Okay, and a lot of times it might be just written out like that. So they click on the, whether it's the icon or the words immersive reader and up comes what you want them to read. All they have to do is click on the play button. Good, Good morning, morning and welcome to Homeroom. We will use this time for independent reading, some engaging activities and connect with one another and the world around us. That's pretty simple, right? Sweet, so let's check it out. If I click on this, the double A's, you can change the font size. In case there's somebody who's visually impaired, they can go ahead and make the words bigger. And now you have bigger words or smaller. The choice is theirs. This cool thing right here is called increased spacing. So if you take this away, it puts it all together or spread it apart. Perhaps they don't like that font. They can change the font to anything that they like. When you come to the color of the background, this is the cool thing. Maybe they don't like that kind of white and they want something more jazzy. Well, they can click on something like this, bam, in your face, all right? Like, wake up, good morning, hello. Or they want something a little bit more subtle, like that. That's pretty cool, right? Cool, so that's a nice feature to have. This next thing, syllables. If you notice the words are kind of broken down in syllables, if you don't need that, they can take that away and there it is, or they can break it down where it's good morning and welcome to home uh, room or take it away. Good morning and welcome to home room. This is cool, especially if you're learning English as a second language. Perhaps they need to know what nouns are. Well, all they have to do is click this and it shows all the nouns in purple. It kind of looks more like magenta, but anyway, or they wanna know what the verbs are. So all the verbs are gonna be in red. Boom, there you have it. Adjectives will be green. And if there's any adverbs, those would be gold. Another cool thing, I'm gonna go ahead and switch this because I want you to see this. This is really cool. They show the labels. So now they see good is an adjective because it's green. Morning is a noun and it's purple or magenta, okay? We'll use our verbs and they have a little V above that. So that's pretty cool in labeling the different parts of the sentence. I think that's really a great language support to have. I'm going to go ahead and close these off because I'm going to show you some more features. Okay, so let's go to this one. This is cool. Line focus. Sometimes it helps when students have something more narrow to look at. Instead of seeing a whole bunch of words on the page, you can narrow it by clicking on this. And now we just have one line at a time. Let's see what that looks like. Good morning. Good morning. Welcome, Welcome to Homeroom. We will use this time for independent reading, some engaging activities, and connect with one another and the world around us. That's pretty cool. So they can either, either have it like that or with three lines or the whole thing, or you can just turn it off altogether. I think that's a really neat feature to have because that way they don't, they're not getting distracted by other words above and below where they need to look. I like that. This is really cool. Picture dictionary. If you have this engaged, Let's say you have a student who's learning English, but they're not quite sure what this word world means. All they have to do is click it on and it shows them a picture of the world. They can click on the audio and hear what the word sounds like. World. That's pretty awesome. This is the best part. I'm telling you, this is the best part. Choose a language. Look at all these languages you have to choose from. At our school, I happen to have a lot of students from Latin America, which is South America. We have a Latin American students. So I'm gonna choose Spanish, but I'm gonna choose the Latin American one instead of the Mexican one or the Spain one, uh, the Spanish from Spain. So if you see that there was three different ones there, you had, let me show you. You have the Latin American one, which is the one like, you know, El Salvador and all that other stuff. Then you have the Mexico Spanish and you have the Spain Spanish. I'm gonna use the Latin American one. I'm gonna put document. So now the entire document is in their language. Again, they can use the line spacing if they want. They can use the, the highlighting the verbs and the nouns and all that, that works as well. And they just listen to it. Buenos días y bienvenidos a Home Room. 
usaremos este tiempo para la lectura independiente, algunas actividades atractivas, y conectaremos entre nosotros y con el mundo que nos rodea. That's pretty cool. I like that. So again, let's go through this. You can have it translated by the entire document. You also have a picture dictionary where they can click on something to see what it means. They can hear it in their language. Actividades. And then they can hear it in English. Activities. What a great resource to have. Man, you hear it in your language and then you hear it in the language you're learning. That's pretty cool. Also, you can have the line focus. If you want it to be smaller segments instead of the whole document, you can select that and the students are more focused in the reading. Also, you can change it where they can be labeled different parts of the sentence, nouns, verbs, adjectives, and whatnot. I think that's pretty cool. And you can have it by syllables or not. And you can also change the font size, make it bigger or smaller, increase the spacing, okay? You can change the font and you can change the background color to anything you like. That's pretty cool right there. Ah, that looks neat, doesn't it? Take that off so we can see that. Look at that. What a neat feature to have. And then label it and the labels come up. I think that's a great, great feature. So depending on the student's mood, maybe again, they're feeling like, again, bam, in your face, or they want something a little bit more subtle, there you go. Nevertheless, there's absolutely no excuse for students to say, I didn't understand the assignment. Sorry, bub, immersive reader, best friend. Again, a lot of the times you're gonna see it as this icon right here. You just click that on and there it is again. It plays. Please share the following. One, your name. Two, your favorite genre of music. Okay, and again, they have all those features that I just showed you right now. It's all right there. Okay, so they can choose their language. I mean, they have so many languages to choose from. There is absolutely no reason for a student to say, I didn't understand the words, I didn't know how to do it, because you can translate in their own language. Immersive Reader is your best friend. You'll find it anywhere. You'll find it in Microsoft Teams. You'll find it um, in pretty much in any document. If for some reason you don't see it in your document, I've got a secret for you. If you're using Chrome, you can use it as a Chrome extension. So let's go to the App Store real quick. I already have it installed, but I want to show you where to get it. You go to the Web Store. On, under extensions, you type in Immersive Reader. Now, what it's going to bring up is the unofficial Immersive Reader. I already have it added to my Chrome. That's why it says rate it, because I already have it added to Chrome. But it is the unofficial version. It works exactly the same. So if you're on a, a document, a web page, or even a document anywhere, you click that on, and you're going to see the same thing that you saw here in that document. So Immersive Reader, that's your best friend. All right. Cool. I hope this helped. I hope you have a great 2020-21 school year. If you have any questions, you can email me at rponer at houstonisd.org. Hope you have a great year. Thank you for being with me today.